Hello. Uh, today I'm gonna show you how to create uh, this vintage kind of effect, something like this. Yep. Yeah. Or this. Or even this. Okay, so let's get to it. All right, first of all, uh, you need to download the file from the description below. You will find the link that provides all the content that I'm using in this Photoshop tutorial so you'll find uh, all this texture that we're gonna use and also you'll find an action that I create for the first step of this tutorial so it won't be that hard to do like all the adjustment and all the this so okay so open your photo in Adobe Photoshop And go to action and you find the action I like you need to load the action you download and just you know of course it will be a different name because I see didn't upload it so it would be the vintage how to create vintage in here so just click play And when this HDR tuning pop up, just you know, try to adjust the the setting in here uh, for for like uh, also for like the image you have. So I'm just gonna use the setting I already used for this one. So it will be like 22 in here. And uh, for the strength 70, the gamma I just didn't touch the gamma, the exposure I put 0.14, and the detail I put uh, 69 for the details, the shadow, no shadow, and the for the highlights, I reduced the highlights to minus 6 and just keep everything else like this like so and we don't have to add any curves in here yeah, I didn't add any alright, click ok and it will continue the action so we can continue and another HDR tuner will pop up and also like you know the image it, it changed as you can see so enter, enter uh, again try to adjust with your image the setting in this HDR, you know, just choose the best that works for your image. So I'm just, you know, trying to remember what I did. Let's add more details. And of course, like you need to keep looking to the image while you. Let's reduce it a little bit. 62. Okay. No shadow. And for the highlight, let's, let's reduce the highlights too. Alright. No vibrance in here. Like we add uh, a little bit of curves, but not that much. 
so just go to this point in here and we'll try like to like so like to put it up a little bit and yeah again like you need to see the image how it change when you try to adjust the curves in here so I'm satisfied with that so just click OK it will continue I'm done this is the first step of action so we just did the let's say the half of the work looks good now we we'll go to our texture in here in the file to download and go to the grain grange texture and just drag it to the image let's make it bigger like so Okay. And just you know change the blending mode to lighting in here and reduce the opacity to let's see forty percent and you know we'll, we'll duplicate this grunge texture by clicking ctrl g and we'll just change the blending mode to exclusion we just reduce the opacity to 10 percent now what you're gonna do is just double just right click in it and we choose resize layer and we we'll just apply for on this texture level so press control plus L you know we will make it a little bit darker like so let's play with this one in here too now I need to keep looking into the image all right click OK Now you see the, the there is a lot of uh, color like so we need to add to add a hue saturation so we just reduce the like adjust the color a little bit so we just see you know, so we may make it look like a, a vintage look to it. Like so now we add the curves so choose curves let's add uh, three points now we go to the third point in here and we just make it like put it up a little bit like so this one in here just a little bit you know it, it depends on the image so you may have like to adjust you know by making three points it makes it easier to, to control your, your levels and the curves so. all right it looks good let's give it a little bit of light right now we we'll go to our texture and we grab this old vintage texture in here the image we just you know place it like so and we change the blending mode to multiply we reduce the opacity to 40 now we'll go to add a solid color so we choose, we choose like a 
nice pink to the color. I think I have the number so E D E seven C E yeah. and we'll also change the blending mode to multiply and we reduce it to 20 give it this this really really nice look as you can see now let's just you know if you can see like in here it's like we need like to blend this uh, color in here like so we'll add a new layer and we choose our brushes in here and then I'll choose a 100 opacity with 40% uh, flow and you know we just zoom out and we choose a white color and we start painting in here by by clicking like the, make the brush bigger you know start painting with the white like so Yeah, I think it looks it's okay. Now let's change the blender mode to saturation and we we'll reduce the opacity to thirteen percent. Okay, as you can see it looks like much better. Like this yellow in here you can see add a little bit ok looks good now let's just merge everything by clicking shift ctrl alt e so we merge uh, everything let's put it in here in a group so we like don't have that much layers Now, like uh, you can choose whatever frame you want for like of these three frames. Like, there is uh, frame number one, frame number two, and three. Like you can choose whatever you want. So I'm just gonna show you an example. And you know, we can do the same. Let's see. Let's grab this one in here. Put it above. So place it. It's also we change the blending mode to color burn. And we duplicate it again and we we keep it in the color burn and we just reduce the opacity to 10%. Like so now we'll add a, a hue saturation. So go to hue saturation. So we'll just you know make it uh, color we adjust color a little bit. So this is the saturation minus 36 and we add a little bit of white like so looks good all right this one in here like you can just i'm gonna show you one more so this is like the first frame you can use like it looks nice and you know can also let's just keep the hue saturation in here split the frame in here so like so if like if you choose the, the other frame let's try the PNG frame in here because it's much like 
So just grab it and resize it. And this this PNG like you need like to keep the space like so so you can make this PNG if you want so it looks like nicer. Like so I just make uh, like, like space for this edge edges in the frame in here. So okay. Now we we just you know press control and one click and you know go to the image that we just merge and choose the layer mask so it will make it like layer mask to the, the frame and change the blending mode to color burn you can and make a duplicate by pressing ctrl G and reduce like uh, or you know what I did uh, actually I didn't reduce uh, for this one for this PNG I just make uh, made a layer mask and you know also by hue saturation in here and you know I just I delete a little bit oh, inside like uh, this second carbon PNG frame so just a little, little bit like so so it will like the, the frame it will looks uh, whiter and inside I just delete it just a little bit Like so. and you can just adjust the density, you can reduce the density for like 80% and fader like 3 pixels. Okay, let's go. All right, and that's it. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did enjoy it, just no, hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe and comment, and you know, have a nice day.